I've searched the internet and the best price is from Photo Koch in Germany. I think it's in Germany. Link in the description for you. Huh? <laughs> wow. Then this is how it looks like. Well, it's pretty big. With the internal microphone, you hear a lot of background noise. So this is how it sounds like on auto mode. Well, you hear the you hear the background noise. You hear all the birds and stuff. I think in auto mode. The gain is a little bit too much. But we need to test that in a quiet environment. We're going to try to extend the range with manual gain. 3 meters, 4 meters, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 meters, 10 meters, and you still hear me, which is great. Let's hope that there will be no distortions at 12 meters. That's pretty far away. Alright? And I'm talking normally, I'm not shouting or anything like that. At the moment, you hear me from the Sennheiser and that beautiful converter. It looks nice, at least for me. Anyway, it's on auto mode. And I think it's way too much gain. You cannot control gain in, on, in the Sennheiser 600. It has included batteries, so all the settings are correct. I think. Yeah, they are correct. So... Uh, it's too much gain. The funny thing, if I connect a different microphone, like a Rode podcast mic, it'd be way too little gain, way too little. If, if, even if I go to a Phantom Power, wait, what if I do? Way too little. Then I would have to go to like eight manually or even nine, which is strange. So I think the auto gain is only great for that microphone in the box, Sony mic. And we can control left and right channel if you wanted to. I'm talking about gain. Even if you have only one microphone connected to the input one. If I switch to the main, then I can control it. Let me just uh, put it into the zero. Like, like you can hear, you should hear it. I'm recording this in stereo, so you, you should hear it. There's a zero on the right channel, four on the left. And of course I can you can also use it as a, it's, that's way too much. You can use it as a safety channel if you're recording in mono. Yeah? Just put a little less and you'll have a safety channel, which is pretty good. Pretty, pretty nice. Very, very nice, my friend. Very nice. Okay, let me go back to the, you, you can also do it in, in auto, but in auto it's not exactly equal. Not sure why, but it is. Well, what it is, then you have to go link and then it's equal uh, gain. And then you, you can control, then this one is off and you control the gain only with the input one. Anyway, there's also an input free for the headphone jack and the low cut filters for uh, two and one. Now it's off, let me switch to a hundred. But in order to hear it correctly, I will have to have some music on the background, some speakers. A lot of bass. If you go to a 300, you hear any difference? You still hear the difference, of course. If it's turned it off, there's a there's a significant difference. But also, I hear the difference between uh, the sound itself when I'm uh, using this converter or directly. Okay, I'm using wide angle or directly to a camera. Let me let me just show it to you. Now you can hear me from the converter. And this is how it sounds like. Bass, mids and highs. I notice there's way, way more dynamics. And it sounds more bassy, muddy. And I kind of like it. Like it said that Sennheiser should, should sound. This converter is doing something with a sound. It's like low cut is always on, which is off. So uh, it is very strange. Do you hear any noise? So let me turn down. If I go minus 
20 dB. For me, this uh, feature is pointless because if I go higher with a uh, with a gain, then it will show us a lot of noise. Hissing sound. Conclusion. What are the benefits of such a device? I'm not using a side ports in my camera, which will block a screen, and especially when the audio gain is, it's blocking when I'm using the, the headphone jack. Then you don't use your ports, and in time they could break if you use them a lot. And then you have to send back your camera, they will give you a replacement, it will take time, it will be expensive, your camera will not be factory sealed, someone play around with it. inside, who knows what will happen in the service. Anyway, you can use all kinds of microphones. There's so many of them. Also, there's a cable included. Then you can put that huge device somewhere on the side, if you have a cage or something. They are also a disadvantage. First of all, it is huge. And I think it's very easy to break. I think it's very delicate. So if you just push it on the side, it is. Especially at the bottom, when it's connecting to just above the hot shoe, I think that, that, that tiny part, the plastic, I think it's fragile. So caution there. And it's big. It's huge. Why it's so huge? Tons of gain. But for professionals, auto mode will give us a too much gain and it's basically cropping. I'm not sure why, even with a Sony mic, I've seen the footage a couple of minutes ago and yeah, it's ooh, that auto mode, I don't know, they, they need a firmware update or something like that. It's, it's, for me, it's way too much. And I think that's all I have. It's a very cool device if you are looking for professional audio. But for professionals, there's a lot of customization and not every microphone will, will work the same. In my case, they're all different. I have a Sennheiser, I have Rode, and the settings are like 180 de degrees different. That's completely different. So there you go. There you go. It's not a plug and play device, at least for me. That's all I have. Thanks for watching and uh, see you next video. Bye.